Hello detectives. Who's ready for March to be our best reading month yet? Hello friends, welcome. I haven't, I'm not holding the board, hold on. <laughs> hello, 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 and welcome to TBR Cluedo, my TBR game themed off Super Cluedo. We've got rooms, they are genres, we have reading prompts, we have fun. <laughs> First off, I wanna say an apologies, I'm hoping she says that my focus my camera focus is going to be okay i've never had problems until the past two videos halfway through filming it's like gone out of focus and has been focusing on the, bu the bookshelf instead and i don't know why this camera is usually good at auto focusing i don't know what's going on so let's just hope and pray that the autofocus does its job for once and hello it's time for march's tbr cluedo it's about time i am determined to have my best reading month of the year so far in March. I feel like January and February have been okay. They've been good. I want an amazing reading month. And in March, spring and springing. <laughs> spring is, well, spring hasn't sprung yet. So spring is about to sprung, maybe if we're lucky. And I just want to read some great books. So that's just the plan for this TBR Cluedo. Hopefully it'll aid me in doing that. Who knows? <laughs> and shall we just get into it and roll the first book? I guess so. Quick, quick start. Let's get right at them. <laughs> Okay, time for roll number one. Person number six, which is yellow, over here. Let's see how many we roll. Whoa, we've got a six and a three. Let's just go one, two, three. And that is prompt number one, which is a new to me author. So roll number one was a magical realism where the author is new to me. So I usually try to steer clear of the magical realism -y room because I tend to not really have a lot of magical realism books on my TBR. I feel like there's not as many published as say like fantasy or mystery. And I tend to read them quite quickly once they do come onto my TBR, like an AS King or whatever. Like I do tend to read them quite fast. But I knew this month I had one perhaps two magical realism -y books that I would be reading. Oh, it was originally focusing on my lips, now it's decided it's focusing on the space between my eyebrows. And the book that I've chosen for this is Nothing to See Here by Kevin Wilson. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know a whole lot about this. I don't really know what I'm getting myself in for. It's nice and short, it's only like 230 pages. We've got Unlikely Roommates, yet yeah, Inseparable Friends. Um, what? <laughs> Okay, so they're grown up. One of their stepkids are moving in with her family. The twins spontaneously combust when they get agitated. Okay. It's getting weird. We've got little twinnies, little, little kid twinnies who spontaneously combust. Why not? <laughs> That's what I really know about this. I've seen it around a few times and I'm excited to see what I think of it. Let it be known that I'm reading this because of someone who I really trust. That's what I'm gonna tell you. It's someone who I am placing my trust in. It's now focusing on just this eyebrow. How interesting. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is someone whose recommendation I really trust, so I'm really excited to see what I think of it. And I don't know, I think this is kind of funny. Funny, but tender. Funny, but, 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 but heartbreaking. I don't know, I don't know, but I'm excited to see what I think of it. I'd love to know if any of you have read this, what you thought of it, because I really don't know what I'm getting myself in for. Roll number two. Person number two, which is purple, over here in mystery see how many we roll. We've got a six and a one. Let's go, where can we get to? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that is number 27, which is a book rated three point something on Goodreads. Roll number two was a mystery that is rated three point something on Goodreads. So it can be 3.8, it can be 3.1, anything that's three point something <laughs> on Goodreads. And for this, I've chosen one of the books that I have been most excited to read for the longest time. And that is The Woman in the Library by Solari Gentile. I think this only has maybe like a 3.5 average rating. It has quite a low average rating. <laughs> so I'm intrigued to see where on, where on the, which side of the coin I'm gonna fall on this. So this sounds so interesting. We've got a crime author who's writing a book she's writing letters to a fan telling him what's happening in the book that she's currently writing the book she's currently writing we've got four strangers around a table at boston public library a murder happens they hear the scream but one of them is the murderer how is that possible that they're sitting around the table together the murder happens but one of them is the murderer I that's suspicious That's weird. The letters, the kind of locked room murder mystery, it all just sounds so interesting. It sounds like my kind of thing. I 
have the delusion I'm gonna love this, right? Some people love it, some people hate it. Mara, my book twin, <laughs> loved it and it's the reason I wanted to read it. This is probably one of the books I've been most excited to read. I love the cover. I just think the cover is so dope. I think it's gonna be my flavor of like a murder mystery that pushes the boundaries a little bit. It's a little bit strange. Other people just don't get it. You either get it or you get it or you don't and you don't. It's not my problem, you know? <laughs> So I am beyond excited. I am so happy I'm gonna be getting around to reading it this month. I was supposed to do a vlog where I read a lot of murder mysteries. It's coming. It was supposed to happen in February. A lot of you know I got ill. I didn't get as much reading done in February as I wanted to. So it's now happening in March and I'm scared. There's gonna be a lot of murder mysteries in one go, but I'm excited. I'm really hoping this is gonna be a five star. And I also feel like this kind of book, it maybe is beneficial to read it in like one sitting very quickly, a couple days. Um, because it's quite unique. <laughs> Roll number three, person number two again. Okay, <laughs> let's see how many we roll. We've got a one and a six again, oh my God. Okay, <laughs> where do we go from here? Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six. And that is, whoa, that is number 11, which is an ebook or an audiobook. Role number three was another mystery, and that is an ebook or an audiobook. And for this, I'm choosing the next in the Lady Hardcastle series, which is Death Beside the Seaside. I think it's called. Oh, we all would like to be beside the seaside. <laughs> this, okay, so originally I wasn't going to read this until maybe like May time, but the prompt came up, and I was like, okay, it's perfect, because I love the audio books Lady Hardcastle Mysteries. This is number six, we're in quite deep, but I really want to try and get completely caught up on this series this year. I read one in January and I loved it. I gave it five stars. This series is just so lovely and cozy and palette cleanser. The audiobooks are amazing. I love them. <laughs> so if you don't know, this is a murder mystery series where we're following Lady Hardcastle and her maid Flo. It's like a cozy historical mystery series. They previously were like spies back in the day, but they've retired. But it turns out they've retired to the murder hotspot of the world. And they are helping solve mysteries that happen in their town or kind of near their town. Yeah, this one is obviously set kind of summery, but I'm hoping, you know, spring, summer, kind of similar mood. Maybe I'll read this for that same video, maybe, for the murder mystery video. But yeah, I love their relationship. I love the audiobook for this. If you're thinking of picking the series up, I would really recommend the audiobooks. They are on Scribd. I've always got a link below where you can get two months free of Scribd and I get one month free. If you know anyone else who has a link, if any of your friends have a link, use theirs, because I am set for life. <laughs> pretty much with script at this point because so many of you have used my link which I'm very grateful for but yeah if you don't know anyone else use our link if you want to try script out you don't know anyone else use my link is basically the answer so um yeah I would really really recommend listening to audiobooks for these and I'm excited to make progress in the series I just reading that first one in January just set me off in wanting to read them they're kind of what I want to read right now so yeah roll number four person number one which is green over there in fantasy Let's see how many we roll. Whoa! We've got a one and a six again. Okay, let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which is number 22, which is a book with three words in the title. Roll number four was a fantasy with three words in the title. And this is the one that I chose to give to my patrons for the book club. So if you don't know, my patrons vote on one round of TBR Cluedo every single month. And that ends up being our book club pick for the month. So the options that I gave them, let me try and remember, were House of Hollow, Jade Fire Gold, Riv A River Enchanted, or The Lie Tree. Those are the four options. And I hate to tell you, but it was a tie between House of Hollow and A River Enchanted. So we've got to do a coin toss right here, right now. Let me go get my phone. Love a bit of drama. Last time we did a coin toss, everyone got annoyed at me because apparently there was like a head on one cover and a tail on the other. And I like picked the other. I wasn't paying attention. When I'm filming, do you really think I care about that kind of stuff? So let's decide which one we want to do. Let's do, let's do, I guess, heads, house of hollow, <laughs> tails of River Enchanted. I don't really have a horse in this race. I'm happy for either of these to be a book club pick. This is the start of a series, which, you know, not ideal, but I don't, I'm, I'm equally excited and intrigued about both of these, I would say. What did I say? Heads, house of hollow, tails, River Enchanted. Let's slip again. Oh, it's heads! Okay, House of Hollow has won a book club pick. Interesting, okay. So a lot of people have been telling me that I'm gonna enjoy this. I just know we've got these sisters who I think disappeared for a while, have returned, 
One of them goes missing again. I think it's kind of body horror, or at least that's what the cover suggests, like Wilder Girls. A lot of people have told me that if I liked Wilder Girls, I'm gonna enjoy this. So I'm I'm really excited to see what I'm gonna think of this. I've heard the writing is kind of like fairy tale like, it's kind of like a modern fairy tale. I'm I'm intrigued. I think it's gonna be a fun one to read with a book club. So for my book club, we do a discussion live show where I get some of the patrons as well onto the live to discuss their thoughts, and then I do an exclusive reading vlog for the book over there every month as well. So if you want to join, the link's always down in my bio. We are almost at 200, so it's very exciting. <laughs> so if you want to come join and help us reach 200 this month, the link is down below. So yeah, oh, I wasn't, ex I, for, in my heart, I was expecting A River Enchanted to win. I don't know why, so I don't, I haven't quite wrapped my head around it. I think that was winning for longer in the poll and then this snuck up with it at the end. So I'd more like made my peace with A River Enchanted, but I am excited to read this with everyone. Roll number five. Person number five, which is white over here in horror. Let's see how many we roll. Got a four and a one. Okay, what can we get to? How do I get to either of these in horror with that? Let's go one, two, three. Oh, shoot. Where was I? Where did I start here? One, two, three, four, five. Is that where I started? I think it is. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. I hope that's right. Okay. Um, that is number 14, which is a book with all the letters of my name in the title. I hate when this one comes up. <laughs> Roll number five was a horror that has all the letters of my name in the title. This one was a little bit tricky to find, but I found a book and I can't avoid it any longer. So we're gonna be reading Mexican Gothic by Sylvia Morena Garcia. Yes! <laughs> Yes! M-E-G-A-N. Megan. There we go. <laughs> a lot of you have been telling me to read this for a very long time. It has been a five star prediction. I have almost read it so many times. We're finally going to read it. I just know this is kind of like Rebecca-esque. In 1950s Mexico, we've got a girl who I think is, believes her husband's trying to poison her. And our main character is her cousin. And her, our main character goes to the family home and is kind of like trying to see what's going on and trying to find out the tea. It's gone to the point now where I've gone past being excited to read this and I'm nervous. I'm kind of scared to read it because I didn't have the greatest luck with Velvet Was the Night by Silver Ramona Garcia and Silver Ramona Garcia has been like a five star author prediction for me and we could be in trouble. <laughs> I'm really excited for both this and The Daughter of Dr. Moreau but I don't know how it's gonna go. Uh, I'm apprehensive, nervous, bit scared, also weirdly calm, perhaps on the verge of hysteria. <laughs> really nervous. Please get, flood the comments with positive thoughts if you enjoyed this because I need to get like re excited for it. And finally, roll number six, we have person number eight, which is blue over here in contemporary. I wonder if we can get the rose popped again. We've rolled four. Can I get to that in four? One, two, three, four. Oh my God, perfect. Okay, so we've got the rose prompt to end it. And then roll six was the rose prompt, which if you don't know, when everyone joins my patron, they get to pick two books, that's four, two books that they would like me to read that are on my TBR. Where has it gone? Oh, it's up here now. They get put in this jar and I pick one out when we get the rose prompt and I have to read it. Let me go grab my laptop because I'm gonna need to see who has picked a book. Okay, okay, rose prompt always makes me feel nervous, but I feel like we've had pretty good luck with ones that we've picked out. Oh my god, it is so full. I'm gonna try and reach down really deep and grab one. Oh my god, my hand is like, I'm not even holding on to anything. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I've got one. I've got one. It could be something I've already read, who knows at this point. Okay, focus. Good. The Once and Future Witches, oh my god! <laughs> That's like from back in the day. <laughs> That's like probably from when I started my channel. I know Charlie said that. Did anyone else ever say that? Yeah, just Charlie. <laughs> That's from like probably when I started the Patreon. Oh my god, yeah, I've read that. That was a five star. So, I mean, that would have been a good choice, but... Okay, another choice. Another choice. Okay, I've got one. I feel sick. I feel sick. Focus on the hands. <clears throat> Okay, I think that's focused. What the hell is that? In my dreams I hold a knife, you're kidding me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's see who, who suggested that just to, you know, it's come up, but. <laughs> In my dreams I hold a knife has been suggested by Lucy, by Zoe, by Chloe, by Riley. <laughs> that's it. So there we go. In my dreams I hold a knife. I've read that. <laughs> 
<laughs> what next? Okay. Last one. <laughs> Dig deep. Okay, I've got one. I've got one. I've got one. Oh my god. Right. Th is that third time? Third third go? Okay, right. Let's focus again. Thank you. Wild beauty. Okay. <laughs> right, I want to tell you something. So, because I have to pick Mexican Gothic, right? There's about three different videos. <laughs> three different videos that I've been debating, that Mexican Gothic could fit in, that I've been debating doing. I was looking at the other books. I was trying to make this work. I, was, I couldn't make it work for any other book that would go in any of those TBRs with Mexican Gothic for the other prompts. Wild Beauty is <laughs> on one of the TBRs for one of those videos. So that has just decided what vlog I'm doing this month, basically. Okay, let's see who said Wild Beauty. I can't believe I'm gonna be finally reading this. My God. Alea has said it and Hannah has said it. Okay, let's find it. I have no idea where it is. Whew, okay, Wild Beauty by Hannah Rumi McNamore. This has been one of the books I have wanted to read for the longest time. This has been on my TBR for quite some time now. I still have not read anything by Anna Rumi McNamore and they have been one of the authors that I have wanted to read from for the longest time. So, oh my, I actually feel sick. I can't believe I'm doing this. Okay, I, I might exit this yeah. conversation Why? now. No, I want to have it, Maria. Yeah, I'll see y'all later. I don't know if I'm ready for this. This and Mexican Gothic, I don't know if I'm ready. <laughs> Why is this the video that I'm gonna have to do? Okay, okay, okay. Are, are we focused? Probably not. <laughs> Yeah, I have wanted to try Anime McMore's writing out for so long because it just sounds like it's just gorgeous and lyrical and beautiful. And here we are. Here we are. <laughs> I've always said with Anime McMore's books, I don't really want to know the plot. Like, I just want to go into it not knowing anything. So, we're reading Wild Beauty, everyone. <laughs> So there we have it. That is my TBR for this month, plus the next in the Lady Hardcastle Mystery Series. Let me know what you thought of any of these books. Let me know whether you think I am, in fact, going to have my best reading month of the year so far, or if you just hate me and don't believe in success. <laughs> if you got to the end of the video, oh, comment like a flower, any flowery emojis for our beauty. My gosh, Hannah and Alea, what have you done to me? <laughs> what am I? What am I doing? Thank you guys so much for watching the video, and I'll see you very soon in another one. Bye.